cool, and I'm back. Yeah, I I actually enjoyed Formula Rookie more than I'm enjoying Formula C. I was surprised how much grip there was in Formula Rookie. There, that, those cars don't have any spoilers or wings, but there was a huge amount of grip uh, driving those Formula Rookie. Now, I need to increase the difficulty to start with. I'll put it at 60, I'll see as a starting point and see how it works. Um, okay, let's try. I'm going to use the same setup I had for uh, Silverstone and I'm going to save it for the Formula Rookie orange and white I don't remember which one I had uh, I want to check Okay, I think I don't need as much fuel for that race track. That's quite short track. Now, obviously, I know the race truck, it's famous enough, and I, I've done hundreds of miles on Laguna Seca in different games, but I have never driven Formula C on it, so there will be a learning curve. Whoa, too early, too early. wide at the exit and both laps are invalidated.
that would be 1 minute 30 seconds but it was invalidated That was also 1 minute 30 seconds, and that puts me on the first place, so I need to increase the difficulty. Uh, maybe actually difficulty is quite good, they're doing a very similar times, uh, though that was just my second lap. So yeah, I'll do a few more, and I may increase it a little bit for the qualification, we'll see. White, white. Wow, I had to slow down by a lot to remove that warning. Twenty seven, so that's a huge gain. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, definitely a good start of the season. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, actually, my teammates are usually coming really at the back, which is super annoying. I need to increase the difficulty. I'm way too fast. Three seconds. Uh... I'm going to put it to 80 and we'll see how that works. Yeah, I changed the difficulty for every single track because I want them to be competitive. So sometimes I put it at 100 or even 105, and sometimes I put it at 34, like, like on the Silverstone. I want them to do similar times to, to what I'm doing. That's why I just adjusted using the practice session. And aggressiveness, I, I used to have it at 100% aggressiveness, but I found they were too aggressive. They were crashing into me, they were doing stupid things. So I reduced it to 70 and I keep it at 70. Yes, quite a few, but I haven't done any of them yet. Uh, I think I will do some of them after that Formula C championship. I actually prefer how it was done in Project Cars 1, when there was a calendar and all the events uh, were on a specific date on the calendar, like in the real life, it was so cool in Project Curse 1. Uh, yes, I have the deluxe edition, so I've got everything.
Oh wow, that was that AI went aggressive there. I really like it. I don't think I have tried any of them yet. Um, I'm focused on the career a little bit and mostly on an online league I'm racing in. And the last season we were racing using the GT3 cars. The next season will be in the GTE cars. And we also, we will be starting endurance series in February. Uh, two hours and 15 minutes long races in LMP3. Okay, cool. They are still too slow. Uh, what times? They're still too slow by around one and a half seconds. So I need to increase the difficulty even more. My lap time was one minute twenty-seven point four, similar to the to the previous session I did. So I should try to give them another ten percent, ninety. And I'll um, I leave it. I let them race a little bit. I see what it is, and because it will be really boring to watch, I am going to stop the stream for now because I won't be doing that race at the moment. I've got some chores to do at home. Uh, I will find the proper difficulty, and once I have that, I will come back to do the final race of the Formula C Championship. I would like to thank you for watching. I wish you all a great Sunday and I'll see you next time when I'll be online. Have a great day and night, yes. Back to career in Project Cars 2, uh, Formula Cars, uh, final round at Laguna Seca. Uh, I tried I tried it a little bit earlier uh, in the practice session. Uh, 
was trying to find a proper difficulty this game when it comes to formula cars it's quite broken when it comes to difficulty of the ai uh, they all over the place uh, on moon panorama i had to put them to below 30 to be able to race properly with them and be competitive uh, for sugo i had to put them all the way to 80 then there was uh Silverstone, round six, I had to put them back down to 34. And now we are at Laguna Seca. And after doing some restarts with practice mode, looking for the good settings, I had to, I found I had to put them to 97. So the range was like from 25 to 97. And I think uh, in the first two rounds, that was different level as well. So it, it's crazy. It's all over the place. Uh, you cannot just put it on one difficulty and race because some races will be super stupidly hard and the other races will be so easy it's even pointless to race. Uh, so unfortunately if you want a competitive racing in a career mode if you like single player uh, I like both multi and single and I want to finish single player you have to spend some time setting this up for your own skill level. So here we go. I'm going to do just fill ups in the practice mode just to see the difficulty level is set up properly. Uh, they should be competitive. They should be doing very similar times uh, I'll be doing at the top level in the first top five, six maybe. And then I will quickly move to qualifying. Well, I don't know what will be the conditions in qualifying. It's all based on the conditions in the practice mode. Uh, the setup is not anything special pretty much based on the stable setup and I just changed the fuel level and things like that. That car and my 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 uh, a bit unexpected situation my uh, controller died luckily I have plenty of cables here so I can just that's not the cable I need great I thought I have plenty of cable here, but maybe I don't have plenty of cables here. Oh, that, that's very short, but I don't need anything longer, I guess. Uh, I just need to connect it. Come on. USB-C, right? Oh, that's different. Oh my, oh my. I have too many cables here. Uh, I'd have my headphones connected. And I'm pretty sure I had more... What's that? Oh, that's another C and it's a long one. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's charging. Lovely. So... Mm, but it's not working. I guess it's working with my PC now, because that's where the cable connects us. Okay. I'll let it charge. I don't care. I'm going to use the wheel. So uh, the only thing I want to check is fuel level. Yeah, that should be definitely enough. So go, go, go. they should be doing around one minute twenty-seven at the top level. Well, they're on a flying lap, so I'll let them go because I'm on the out lap. Here we go. I need to warm up the tires anyway.
another car there, I'll let it go. Quite, quite a queue there, so I'll let them all go. I'm not waiting any longer. There's too many of them. I'm on a flying lap now as well, so... But I'm... Yeah... My tires are still cold because I stopped there to let them go. It costed me higher temperature. Or at least they... They all went through. Laguna Seca is such a great racetrack. It's quite short, but the elevation gain is quite big here. So it's a lot of uphill, downhill, interesting corners, and of course, of course, this cork corkscrew, uh, one of the most recognizable corner in the world of car racing. Still trying to warm the tires. They not all uh, where they should be, but they much better than they used to be. And the car is uh, sticking to the ground a little bit better. There is more grip at the moment. Very risky. That would be one minute twenty eight point six six six. Very interesting time. Oh, there is a plenty of grip now, even though one of the tires is still cold, the, old, the other three are in green.
and that would be one minute twenty seven point six three two but unfortunately both times were invalidated. I could go here on the fourth gear, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to negotiate that uh, fast right hander on the fourth gear than the third. That would be on first with 127.4. That would be enough. And that's very close. So those are really good times. Uh, I probably won't be able to do those times all the time. And obviously there were some mistakes as well. Uh, I can return to pit box. I can skip to the end of that session. And I can continue to qualifying. I'm thinking about increasing the difficulty by one. But I think I'm going to... Yes, so I'm going to exit and I'm going to increase it by one. 98. So let's put it at 98. And let's move to qualifying session. And then to, to the race session. It's an evening one, in a car without lights. Okay, I don't care anymore. Go, go, go. Most important thing is it's still warm, 30 degrees truck temperature, so I'm not sure what the race is gonna it's going to look like. But of course without light I don't see the breaking points. Quite stupid to to race an open wheel car. Cold tires, uh, open wheel car in the dark on the racetrack, which is not prepared for that. I mean, Formula One has a night races, but on the racetracks, which have a lot of artificial light around the track, this one has zero. At least the views are nice. Still cold. I, 
think fourth gear is okay. Maybe not ideal, but okay. I need to get more attempts into the tires. That was a weak lap, 1 minute 29. I have to improve by a lot. go third gear a bit faster than the last time but still too slow to 7.6 Huge improvement this time. The tires are finally warm and it does make a huge difference. Twenty six point seven, that should be the first place. Look at that, box this lap. Okay, I didn't expect the time. That's my personal best so far. I may need to further increase the difficulty for the race itself. Put it to 100 maybe.
no, maybe I won't be increasing difficulty. That was my PB and I barely got the few pole position. The second guy was faster than I expected actually. All of them are 27. Very competitive field. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is skip to the end. I don't want to wait another six minutes. And that should simulate the rest Great of the session. That's Here we go. One. No one's going to touch you now. That's you on the front row for the race. Let's do it then. Final round. I'll double check the fuel. 11 laps this should be enough. We're doing. Uh, and laps, right? 10 laps, yes, so let's start. Final race in the series. The pressure's on, we can do it. We've got the car, we've got the driver. Go out and win this one. I was late. Oh, but I'm too bad overall. Cold brakes, I have to remember about this. Warm tires because of the warmers. Whoa, that happened first time. Have to be careful on the next laps. Didn't expect that. A bit dirty first lap. Not too bad overall. Great first lap. Let's consolidate that lead. At least it's not a night race. Looks like AI uh, destroyed all the cones which were there. Not a bad time for a race. But to be completely honest, I'm doing I'm not I'm not using a qualifying setup for that car, so it's the same for a quali and race. Great first sector, that's your best split time so far. A 
A bit risky there. Just within track limits. Should be quite a good time. Around 27 again. Nice one, that was the fastest lap of the race. 26.4. That's great, great, you're looking good out there. Quicker than in quali. Well, at least I'm consolidating the uh, gap to the second. It's three seconds at the moment. Checking the temperatures, uh, the tires are great, perfect temps, brakes are cold, but they are always cold in that car, and there's not much one can do about it. The track temp is 39 degrees, so it was like that over the whole three sessions, 40, 38, 39, so that's really good. Hell is with those tires temps. Second uh, advantage, 4.2, and it's growing, 4.3, 4.4. Half a second slower than Mepes Lab. It's surprising. That felt actually quite fast. I think I'm having wrong gear here, to be fair.
That's the best second sector so far. times overall this is uh, three laps to go at that stage of the race short track those laps are quick especially in comparison to the previous one which was Silverstone Good advantage of almost 7 seconds now. The dashboard shows a little bit different information than the on-screen information in the left corner. And the dashboard seems to be more accurate. expect that to happen good I had six seconds lead or seven seconds lead it's just uh, three seconds now <laughs> final lap last lap now keep focused we can win this keep it clean and tidy all the way to the flag Final lap, final corners. I'll try not to make the same mistake as last time. That was a huge surprise. I didn't see it coming. Almost costed me a race.
and a cooldown lap. And it's the end of the Formula C World Championship season. Concluded with a win at Laguna Seca, Mazda Laguna Seca Raceway. Uh, now the track changed the name and it's, uh, it's not Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca anymore. But when the game was released, it was still Mazda Laguna Seca Raceway. Let's finish that cooldown lap. The victory lap. Not only of the race, but of the whole season. limiter engaged I wouldn't change anything at that stage but that's the racing right so the pit limiter should be engaged in the situation here we go one huge mistake luckily the, the gap to the second was big enough I could have increased that uh, difficulty level after all um, I didn't expect those lap times 126.4 that's quicker than during the qualification good i won't be restarting session i'll be continuing to the end of the session so it's extra point for the fastest lap plus the full points for the win and as a team 38 points so how did my teammate do he was fourth that's not too bad not, that's great actually so it's an overall win in the construction, uh, sorry, in the drivers and in the construction. So, or teams, really, those are not constructors, or teams. Great, perfect. And that's it of it. Um, and as much as I would love to move to another tier, which is tier four, I think it's tier four. I'm going to double check, which should not sure why my broadcast uh, was interrupted so abruptly, but that's what happened. So Formula C World Championship concluded with uh, six wins, six podiums out of seven races. So I lost at Monaco. 107 total points, enough to win. Um, well, I, nine podiums, seven wins as a team, I guess, which is great. And the accolade, which I'm collecting. And I could move to Formula Renault 3.5 tier 4, but I cannot. And the reason for that is I still have I still have Europe Championship to do because previously I took the path of US Championship and then World Championship, but I want my accolade for Euro Championship. And unfortunately all the racetracks here are new and different to those which were in the world championship i hope for at least for some of them to duplicate so i would know what kind of ai difficulty to use but they're all different so it's five races i will have to spend some time for each race to set up the proper difficulty of the ai to have a good quality race but for now over 
Actually, I'm going to have a peek at Formula Renault. I want to see how long are the races here. Nice introduction. Oh, this is just a formula. There's no divisions. It's just one championship. That they don't tell. Worry that if I can click continue, I will start the series, which I don't want to do because I want to do that um, the Europe first. Okay. Thank you all for watching. That's it for today. And I'll see you next time.